France 24's Maria Goth Nicolescu is in Addis Ababa for us. Several thousand people gathered this Sunday on Mesco Square in Addis Ababa. This rally was organized by the government to show support for the Ethiopian Defense Forces. In the crowd, participants were waving Ethiopian flags and carrying signs criticizing the United States and accusing Western media of spreading fake news. Several officials took to the stage, including the mayor of Addis Ababa. There were also chants in support of Ethiopian soldiers. Other than that, the situation is calm the capital, but we're still receiving increasing reports about arbitrary arrests of Tigrayan citizens. A witness I spoke to said his parents and his sister were detained alongside several other families on Saturday. The government had declared a nationwide state of emergency last Tuesday. This as Tigrayan forces and allied groups said they wanted to reach the Ethiopian capital after taking control of several towns in the Amhara region. They're also trying to access the highway leading from Djibouti to Addis Ababa. This is a main trade route and disrupting this road could put pressure on the government since it would lead to acute uh, shortages. Uh, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed on Sunday called for unity between Ethiopians. Uh, these past days, the government had called citizens to be ready to fight and make the necessary sacrifices uh, to counter enemy forces.